Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. Jeez, I don't even know what time of day it is. Just wanted to come live today and show you another craft that I like to make. And I'm again using the Magnolia Crafting, uh, Ma Magnolia Design Company's uh, screen stencils. And what I'm doing today is I am using a piece of uh, wood that I got at Walmart a um, while back. This is the tag off of it. I'm not sure how much I paid for it since it's been a while. Uh, in fact, it was probably September-ish time frame. So what I've done, because, I don't know if you can tell in the light, but the wood grain is raised in places. So what I have done is I've waxed it using a paper, or using the sponge that comes with it, and then wiped off excess and let it dry. And this is what I use. This is tray wax, uh, transparent, or clear paste wax. And I just got it from Amazon, so uh, any type of a clear paste wax will work. So what I'm going to do today is one of the, one half of the grandchildren stencil. Um, the first one reads, side by sides or miles apart, grand grandchildren are always close to the heart. And I would have done that if I was still living a long ways away from my grandkids. Now, I do have two grandchildren in Canada, which are quite a bit of ways. And then this one fits all of the grandchildren. It says, grandchildren fill a place in your heart you never knew was empty. So I'm gonna use this one. And what I've gotta do first is fuzz it. So I'm gonna just peel, as you can see, and see if I can turn it around here and get it. I'm gonna take my finger and just run it over the edge and pull down and then I pull from the center not oh I love these cameras that are backwards not from the corner and you can see on the back I have written the name so when I go to put it back on if I'm working with multiple stencils I know which stencil fits which one now I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing and hopefully I don't lose it okay I think you can see this what I've done is I've put it on my fuzzing cloth. And if I don't have a fuzzing cloth, this is a brand new fuzzing cloth and a brand new stencil, so it's gonna be very sticky. But what I'm going to do is not get it stuck one side to the other. That's not good at all. Okay. Fuzzing it keeps it from pulling up the chalk when you're putting it on the surface if it's got too much sticky on the back. Now, if I were doing it on cloth, I wouldn't have to be doing this. But since I'm doing it on a solid surface that's not cloth or ceramic, I need to fuzz it several times. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm gonna warn you that in the background, I have a load of wash going and uh, you may hear it beep when it's done, so just please ignore that if so. Okay, and you tell that it's coming off the cloth easier now that I've done it a few times. So I think that's enough. And I'm gonna take and place it in the center, I hope, and straight. You know, my husband is good at doing this, but I'm not as good. Okay. Check that and see. Close enough. And I was helping some uh, of my cousin's granddaughters the other day with something. And I explained to them that everything doesn't have to be perfect. That makes it unique. And uh, there'll never be another one like it. So I've gone through and I've applied it to the board and I've made sure I've got all the air bubbles out. Okay. Now, one of the reasons that I put wax on it is because in the wood grain, when I put the chalk on, if there's a uh, ridge from the upper grain, the chalk may go underneath it and not be quite as sharp as it is when you're putting it on a, a piece without a wood grain. Okay. so. What I was doing was I was wanting to do grandchildren in gold glitter and then do the rest in white. And I wasn't sure if the gold glitter would show. 
So I did samples on the back just so I could tell. And you can see the gold glitter does show up as does the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the gold glitter for my grandchildren portion and the heart. Oops, let me lay this one over here out of the way. All right, so since it's a small area, I'm just gonna use one of our squeegees. I'm gonna dip it in and just make sure I get a good coating on it. Now the glitter is kind of transparent, so you wanna make sure that you get enough on there. And what I might do is let this dry and put another coat on before I lift the stencil. We'll see what it looks like. I'll do a test on the stencil to see how it looks. And I'm going away from the lettering below it so I don't get the gold on there. Now, if I was doing all one color, it wouldn't be a problem because I could just go across the entire stencil. And you see that I'm doing a very thin coat because you don't want to get too much on there at one time. It's just not going to look right and it might peel up. So you want to make sure you get a nice thin coat. And all I'm doing is making sure I've got all of grandchildren done. And then I'm going to do the heart in gold. Now, if you have grandchildren, comment before how many below how many you have. Because I have seven grands and three great grands. So I am very, very blessed. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and set it to the side. And I want you to see how nice and creamy that is. That's because it's been maintained properly. Now, before I put it away, let me look and see. I'm gonna lift, sure I am. I'm gonna lift a corner and then pull up some. And you can see that the grandchildren is gonna show okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So I'm just gonna spread it back down. And then I'll do the white. Now I wanna show you what happens when you don't maintain your chalk well. This is some, and as you know, I moved uh, between New Year's Eve and March 13th. I didn't get a chance to do much chalking. So my chalk got dry. See how clumpy that is? Okay, so what I can do is I can add some water to it and stir and stir and stir. And I'm not gonna do that here just because it'll take a while. I have seen where some of my fellow creators has uh, bought one of the little inexpensive food choppers, the little electric ones, put it in there with some of the water and you always wanna use distilled water. And that, <coughs> excuse me, mixes it up well. You can see what it should look like, nice and smooth. Now, what I'm going to do when I'm done, and I won't do it while we're online, but once I've finished it, I will stir it well, and then I'll put a, I'll spray just a tiny amount of the distilled water on top to keep it moist. <coughs> that way it'll maintain its integrity. But all I'm going to do now is go along and do the part that says they have a special place in my heart because each one of them is different. They all bring different things to the table. I've not been able to see the ones in Canada in quite a while. They are adults now. And one has given me a grandchild, a great grandchild that I've not had a chance to meet and that would be Kingston. Um, but I do get to watch him grow up on Facebook and I do like Facebook for things like that. Sometimes Facebook is not all that we want it to be, but we can make it what we want it to be if we are careful and not open up our pages to people we don't know very well. Okay, I'll go back the other way and make sure I've got all of the lines out of it. And okay, now what I like about these crafts is that they are nice, quick, and easy. 
but the uh, children I was showing the other day how to do it, they were amazed at how easy it was and how nice it looked when it came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this again, and I'm gonna go from the edge again. Whoops, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Let me go this way. I'm gonna lift on the corner, and then I'm gonna go dip down and pull it off. Again, holding from the center and not from the corner, because I don't want to stretch the stencil. Okay, so that's the finished. Grandchildren, fill a place in your heart you never knew was empty. So that'll hang in the guest bedroom that one of my grandchildren sleep in, and uh, it'll look nice. Now, I may add a little butterfly or something down on the corner from another uh, stencil. I don't know, I'm gonna look at it for a little bit. What I'm gonna do now so that I do not mess it up, I'm gonna use my heat gun and just dry it. And I'm gonna hold it up close once I'm done. And I want you to see now, if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer, which I, to use if I've got a lot of people doing things and I don't have, I only have one heat gun, so some of them get hair dryers to work with when I do the make and take. And it doesn't take long to dry the chalk. Okay. And I want to show you that because I did the, the paste on the wood grain, you won't see any of it bleeding into where the grain is. It's nice and sharp. So, let me know what you think of it. Let's see, who all's on? Oh, look at there, one of my grandchildren's on. Hey, Nick. Looks awesome, Grandma. Love the message as well. Well, of course you would, because it's all about you. Uh, hey, Kathleen, good to see you. I uh, hope you're getting better. I just learned that you had some uh, surgery. I hope it's all gone well. Denise is on. Oh, Christina's on, and she said, Grandma is on TV. Ah, that's my four-year-old great-grand. Uh, Teresa's on. Okay, Teresa, back from, uh, what, 19... It was in the 60s, I guess, when we first met, wasn't it? Uh, and then we won't talk about our roommate years. Sheila's on, another high school roommate. And it says Christina's watching. So, hey, everyone, thanks. Christina, you didn't comment that you had one grandchild, two grandchildren. Forgot about the newest one. So thanks everyone for joining. If you have any questions, message me or um, visit my, Dale, my website at dalekate.com. Thanks everyone. Bye.